you very much for coming. Um, at the launch of uh, this book on uh, uh, Britain and Europe, uh, what we think is the end game, and it's from a, an Irish perspective. It's the, it's the third book in a series on Britain. Uh, we published a book in 1996 on Britain's European question, and in 2000 on Blair's Britain and England's future. And I think what the book traces is uh, the disengagement uh, from, um, of Britain from Europe, and also that we, we actually believe that it's now, it's now the end game in the sense that uh, a decision has to be made uh, about Britain's future uh, in, the, in the Union or not. Uh, we think it is possible uh, to uh, do a deal, if you like, uh, with uh, the United Kingdom and to settle the question for a number of years uh, between the United Kingdom uh, and Europe, what we call a, a bespoke a solution. We think that's possible. But another possibility, of course, is uh, that they, they might leave. Um, if they do leave, of course, the, the, uh, the, the consequences for us are, are enormous. I mean, the reality is that the, the British question is unsettled, uh, it's uncertain, and uh, it's unpredictable. Uh, we believe a referendum is inevitable, whether it comes in 2017 or, or a bit later. And we also believe that the, the notion of British exceptionalism, the feeling, particularly in England, uh, that they are different to everybody else and, and need solutions different to other people, that's a reality. Uh, and other realities which exist now, which may not have existed uh, in quite the same way in the past, are Scottish nationalism. And that's not a settled question. And English nationalism. So there's a possibility not only that the UK might leave Europe, but there is also the possibility uh, that the UK itself uh, could break up. Uh, the consequences for, for example, for Irish trade, the consequences for our relationship with London, consequences for Northern Ireland and for the relationship at the border and across the border, all of those are, are really uh, very important. Uh, and all of them quite possibly could be uh, disrupted in a serious way. So what we're trying to do with this book really is to, is to start a debate, if you like, to contribute to a debate uh, and to um, perhaps address something that uh, Cameron himself uh, used in an article in the Financial Times last Friday uh, when he talked about the possibility of Britain uh, sleepwalking uh, out of Europe. Uh, the format for this evening is that I'll ask Brendan to talk first. He'll be followed by Paul, then by John Bradley. Uh, John, in particular, will deal with the implications for Ireland and the implications for Northern Ireland. Uh, and then I'll call upon Paul again just to talk about the, the end of the book, where, very unusually, we present, for this institute, we present an agenda for Europe and an agenda uh, for Ireland. Uh, and after that, uh, we'll take questions uh, for as long as you like, as long as you allow us to go away for dinner eventually. So, Brendan.